Uh, it really is an honor to be here today. This is a pivotal year for MEC as we put real booster rockets behind the implementation of Blueprint Mississippi. In 2011, Blueprint Mississippi showed what we could do as our area issue chairs, steering council, advisory council, and stakeholders, over 1,000 participants in all, went to work on a dramatic and broad-reaching research project. Chairing the effort was Commissioner of Education, uh, Commissioner of Higher Education, Dr. Hank Bounds, and the results were compelling. But as we turned to the task of implementing Blueprint, we realized that we couldn't get the job done with chewing gum and bailing wire as we had done in the first Blueprint in 2004. It was clear that it would take a concerted and well-funded effort and to really complete the job. That's where Blueprint Mississippi Pathway to Progress effort comes in. It is both a campaign and a process. The campaign is designed to aggregate $3.7 million in program funding to jumpstart the implementation of Blueprint Mississippi. To date, we have raised over $2 million of our goal through the generosity of MEC membership. That's over halfway to our goal. We are calling on other leaders in the MEC membership to join the existing donors and support this import, hmm, in supporting this important program to help us finish the job over the next five years. Assisting in the effort to reach out to our members are our regional vice chairs, Robin McGraw from Renaissance Bank, Jerry Host from Trustmark Bank, and John Hairston from Hancock Bank. It's a group of bankers. I know that makes you all happy. <laughs> as well as Bill Yates focusing on our leaders' effort. So much, of, so much for the campaign part. It's important. We need to get it done. But we also need your help. Now for the process part. It involves re-engaging volunteers in every corner of our state. It takes real involvement from stakeholders in every part of our state to make this happen. You can sign up to participate in one of the four areas online at blueprintmississippi.com. All the information you need is on a card in your place. As you can see, Blueprint's programmatic focus is on the four important Blueprint Mississippi pillars of progress. Economic competitiveness, resource development, educational achievement and workforce development, and technology advancement. We aren't waiting on the fundraising to be completed. We began aggressively implementing Blueprint Mississippi last year with our first drill down study identifying the opportunities for healthcare as an economic development driver. As a result, Governor Bryant has created the Mississippi Healthcare Solutions Institute, which MEC is now helping launch as part of the process. MEC has task forces that are hard at work in each of these four issue areas. The projects are well underway, and there are more to come. In fact, today, Erwin Edenson of Ingalls Shipbuilding will announce a major blueprint initiative to boost workforce development in Mississippi. 3.7 million puts the program resources in place to take Blueprint Mississippi to the next level. It will be teamed with 5.9 million in operational funding over a period designated by the MEC board to provide a combined investment of almost $10 million into the Blueprint Mississippi Pathway to Progress program. That's real money, all from the private sector in a state the size of Mississippi. Mississippi is on the move. Blueprint Mississippi helps keep our focus the Pathway to Progress campaign gives us the sustainability that will put our state in the place of greatest opportunity. With your help, we can make a meaningful difference. Thanks for your support. As a new person to Mississippi, it is a distinct honor to be here and afford the chance to help contribute to the success of Blueprint Mississippi. I look forward to working with you. I appreciate the welcome that I've received. I appreciate Blake. This is a great organization. We look forward to being a part of it for a long time to come. Thank you very much.